I wanted to also ask, and I'm, I'm watching our time uh, slip away, but I want to make sure I also ask about dialogue and description. Because obviously when we're writing middle grade, we're writing for children. There, you wouldn't you wouldn't write the same level of description that you uh, would expect from an, an adult novel or certainly a longer piece. Um, what is, is there a good rule of thumb on how much description is enough for a child to have a clear vision of what's going on without needing to know all the finer points of a, a setting, location, whatever? Wow, I've never thought about it that way. Um, my rule of thumb is, am I bored? In which case I might ask you to cut some. There's a writer named William Maine. I'm, he's probably dead by now. I used to read him in um, when I was in junior high and high school. He's a British author, and it was the era of a lot of money in libraries, so they bought all these well-reviewed British novels that we couldn't sell today. And he had a lot of description, and I read every word, but I couldn't follow it. So I have another, I have another thing to say about that. Um, I used to read Harriet the Spy over and over, and I lived in a suburb, Belmont, Massachusetts, and in the beginning of the book, Harriet and Sport are playing town in the courtyard of their building, and there's a tree, and Harriet's drawing the town up, but I had no idea what a courtyard in a New York City building was. I couldn't imagine it, and I always pictured it just happening uh, at my next-door neighbor's house because he had a tree in his front yard, and when they went into to visit Old Golly on the subway. I imagined that they were going into downtown Boston because it was the only thing I knew with the subway, you know. So I'm not sure how much kids pay a lot of attention. I mean, I think they pick up the atmosphere in the description, but then they kind of project themselves into it to some degree or another anyway. So no matter and, how you describe a classroom, they're probably going to imagine their, their classroom? Yeah, more or less, right. You know, you, you put the hamster cage in if the hamster is going to come into it as part of the story. But yeah, they're really interested in what's going on with the people, I think. 